decided to go into the photography for one reason. It just seemed like it could never end. Like, I was thinking of going into music, but I was like, all the good loops and beats, they're, they're like used up. How, how can you ever imagine a new one? But with photography, all you need to do is open the door, go out the door, and the, the selections are infinite. I am not a photographer. I am an individualist who happens to take pictures because I enjoy it. It's fun, and I just have a natural thing. Like, when I see a, a cute dog, I'm like, I must have that. I will have that. And then, you know, the whole process of walking over and connecting with the dog, and then... Um, asking the owner if I could take a shot and hoping that they won't be like, get away from me, you creep. I'd be like, hey, can I take a picture of you? I mean, I know it sounds, but you're just really cool looking. I'm a street photographer and I just kind of shrug my shoulders and put myself on the mercy of the court because they don't know who I am. Uh, that little camera parlayed into the hip-hop scene, the art gallery scene. That little doinkster of a camera got me access into a lot of things. When I started shooting in the clubs, people see that a photo credit with someone famous, they put the two together, and I just became the Rickster, downtown photographer, overnight. I remember I was right in the front, had my elbows on the stage, and they were making everyone wait, and then finally, the lights went dark, an 808 bass drum sound dropped, and then the lights came on, and they came out like prancing, skipping, laughing, slinging beer out of 40s, and my eyes just went like, oh my God, so dope. As we're walking in the backstage area of this arena, when the MC was on, I was like, wow, I could feel the pulse. And Jam Master J is suspended in the air with the two turntables doing a scratching solo during Peter Piper. After the show, they gave me a bed on the tour bus. So I got to go for like a week with my little auto jammy. And some of the pictures I took with that little auto jammy on that week turned out to be historical pictures. You know, it's an interesting dynamic. You can become famous from just taking pictures of famous people. You're like, oh, you're so-and-so? You took this picture of... It's crazy. Getting pictures of people who I find interesting is like collecting baseball cards. It's like, I want him, I want her, I want them in my collection. I gotta have him, gotta have her. Last year, I just made a commemoration. 30 years of pro photos on a hangout tip. That means, like, I had a camera, but, you know, I used to just tuck it away behind my jacket and take pictures, like, on a casual tip, but they happen to be high-quality photos, just naturally. It's kind of like being fashionable by accident. I appreciate any praise I get or compliments, but I'm not trying to ascend to be the king at all or be like the top because I'm not interested in that. I don't mind being right in the middle. As long as I have my own unique niche of how I do and I can be me, I'm happy with that. <laughs> 